We're here to support our member who's had issues with mould for around three years. They've done nothing to meet with our member to make any sort of change. They've been nothing but disrespectful to our member from the beginning. They've refused to meet with us. Pianet has had no heating in the rooms upstairs for 11 years. Since Pianet joined the union, there was a social media post that went up. Just that alone led to the agency straight away coming to like do repairs. So now suddenly, now there's heaters everywhere. So then we sent a letter, they responded saying that people needed to take care more, you know, when you take your showers and you need to open the windows and you need to wipe like, you know, like the mall. It's all your fault, basically. We refuse to meet with you. We don't want anything to do with you and we'll be dealing with your client on our own. So today we're going to go in, we're going to negotiate, we're going to ask for compensation, we're going to ask for them to fix the molds, we're going to ask for them to fix the flooring. I want to say thank you for everyone to come to support me. Woo! When we win this for you, you're going to come in and be active and be involved. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Fix the mold. 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 Coretta and her kids have had to live through 11 years of no proper eating in the house and three years of absolutely miserable mould and people have been to it can tell you can taste it in the bloody air. Shouldn't be our job to do this, they should be looking after our housing and looking after us without this. But we are forced to again and again stand up to bad landlords and bad letting agents. We've seen huge increases in the reports of damp and mould across both social and private rented sectors and week in week out we're working on member defence cases for our members in order to try and get their properties up to standards. Our organising model is built in local neighbourhood branches and that's how we build capacity around our national campaigns. So we've got branches set up across Scotland now. We function much like a trade union. We defend each other, we get wins and our conditions and um, we build up from there. Tenants United will never be defeated! The Tenants United will never be defeated! Basically will leave as soon as they negotiate with us and they're refusing to. We don't want to be here. <laughs> we're, not, we're not going to be here either. We'll jump in and speak to them, see what's happening and then we'll, we'll come back out and speak to yourself, okay? So. The director is on holiday. Who'd have thought it? And one two let have decided that they're going to shut down the office for the day. One two three four. Tenants knocking at your door. She said she was stressed because we are coming round here talking about. But she don't know how it's been stressed in a house where you can barely breathe, where it's unlivable. She doesn't know how that's been for 11 years, so I don't know how she's talking about stress unless she wants to go and live in there for 11 years right. and she yeah. can figure out what real stress is. Right, well yeah. it. Right. All we're trying to do is get a date for a meeting with the boss, somebody in charge, somebody that can do something, that care about their tenant and don't look at us with complete disrespect like this. Hi again. Um, so, I've been in contact with you before about um, drying the property. Oh, God. No. Yes. So, it's the thing about opening your windows for two weeks, yeah? They've been instructed recently that she needs to put her heating on full blast and yeah. then open the windows. Has that been done? Yeah. So, are they sending someone on Monday to speak? Well, I, I spoke to the manager on the phone there. Oh, you did? Oh, he's not on holiday, huh? Oh, well, he spoke to you and, like, she wouldn't. Like it could still be in holiday and be in the phone because they need this yeah. heating, they need this to be sure. on for a week, at least yeah. a week yeah. to dry out, but yeah. once it's dried out they're, they're definitely going to come in and do it. They've committed to do some repairs but it's all a bit vague, you know, like yeah. that's the problem, we've got nothing in writing. When we were inside they said the work had already been done. So are they going to pay for that heating? Yeah. It's complex, like they, they say one thing, they write one thing, they do something else. They committed in writing to like paying for the, uh, the bills of the electric heaters for a week. We've seen nothing, and we are demanding £6,660 of compensation uh -huh. for the year that she spent like that. Yeah.
They never had heaters upstairs. Upstairs for like 11, 11 years with their heaters. As well. And then that created obviously the damp issue. Now there's heaters, now they're moving. But it's insane that it took, you know, for us to get involved, for them to do something. A lot of people come to living rent off the back of really untenable conditions like this. They maybe feel quite powerless where they are and they don't necessarily know that a tenants union like living rent exists. A lot of the outreach work we do is in blocks, it's in schemes, um, it's going up and down streets, knocking on doors and asking people if you've got any issues with your housing, how do you feel about that and what do you think we can do to fix it? So they've given Pierrette 150 quid to put the gas on full blast for a week while opening a bit like the windows and that is to dry a bit the property before they can come in to do the work. Yeah, well. Clearly we put a hell of a pressure onto them uh, today. They know we can come back. We've got hundreds of members that are here in this neighborhood. We'll be back! 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 We'll be back.